Let's learn how to make a line follow a tracking point in After Effects. Tip tot. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tart. Welcome back to Tutorials with my face in it. We're still during lockdown on the unmentionable event that took place at this time of upload that I can't say the name of, otherwise this video will be demonetized. But I've managed to make a cramped workspace that allows me to pop the green screen up and do some tutorials for you. So today we're going to take a look at how to make a line follow a tracking point in After Effects. Um, it's going to be quite a simple one. I have a video here of two people walking along in an office. We're going to track one of these lovely ladies' heads, and then we're going to make a line follow that head. So we're going to drag our footage into After Effects and create a new composition from that selection. Now, with the video selected, you're going to want to make sure you've got your window tracker open, which I do down here in the uh, right hand side of my screen. We've got four options, track camera, warp stabilizer, track motion, stabilize motion. We don't want to track the camera here. We want to track some motion. So we're going to click track motion and that's going to create a tracking point for us. Before we go too much further though, I like to do my setup first. I'm going to hit control shift alt Y to create a new null object. You can also go to layer new and then null object up here. We're going to call this um, tracking point. And this is the uh, object that we're going to attach our tracking point to. So let's zoom in on our track point here and just a brief explanation of how these work. So there are two bounding boxes which you can adjust the size of. The inner bounding box is the space that the tracker will um, be allowed to move between each frame to follow the tracked point. And the outer box is the amount of space that it will continue to look for that tracked point. For example, if I tracked this lady's nose, we need a box that would fill roughly the size of her nose. And depending on how fast she's moving, which isn't very fast at all, you're going to need a box that makes sure that between each frame, that nose is going to stay within the outer bounding box. Something like that, too, too big probably. Also, the larger of the tracking box, the slower it's going to track. You also want to find a point with high contrast, like perhaps this earring that she's got here. Again, that's going to be quite small. We just want to check that during our um, uh, footage, it doesn't disappear. However, the light does cast off it, changing the contrast quite a bit. So probably not the best point to track. One thing that might be quite good to track um, would be the corner of this lady's eye. She doesn't turn her head much, which is quite good in the part that we need tracking. We're obviously only going to track maybe the first few seconds. So I'm going to split that layer with Control Shift D. Um, and let's try that. Let's try tracking the corner of her eye. There's a lot of contrast there. It doesn't need to be too large of an area, so it can be a nice small tracking point. And now you can just hit this little track forward button, or if you're late in your footage, track backwards button to see if you can track this footage. So let's zoom out a little bit. We know the character is going to be moving this way along in the screen. So let's just hit track forward and see. All right, you can see that's tracking that corner pretty easily. It's also good because it's going to follow the movement of her head, which gives us a lot of actual movement to use for this tracking point. I'm pretty happy with that. I think three seconds is plenty for this little tutorial. You want to make sure that you're uh, only tracking the amount of time that you need. So I'm going to trim my comp this work area. I just pressed N there to trim that and then right clicked to trim it. We've now got a tracking point that follows this eye, but you'll notice that we are on our layer, um, video layer, whereas within the composition, this track hasn't been applied yet. So all you need to do is just make sure that you select your motion source video, which it'll already be on. Make sure you're on tracker one and then just choose edit target. Now that's going to bring up a little box. It says apply the motion to a certain layer. That's why we made our tracking point layer first, because otherwise you'd have to make it now. Click OK. Uh, well, that's just made sure that the target is correct. You then just hit apply and uh, on apply, there's apply dimensions X and Y, which is what you want both because it's moving up and down and left and right. Just hit OK. And that's going to now take us back to our composition where you can see that our null object has pinned itself to the corner of this lady's eye. That means she's now going to have the null object following her eye. So let's quickly create something visual that we can see as um, the point that is being tracked. So I'm just going to create a white uh, circle by going to the ellipse tool. Uh, 66 point stroke is pretty high, so we'll just bring that down a little bit. And I'm going to position this over the point of the eye that I want. In fact, I might position this over like the center of her face and scroll it up a bit. Just like so. And then we are going to pin, pick whip, 
our shape layer to our tracking point. We'll just call this shape layer circle. And now you'll notice that that circle is following her face. Step one is complete. Now, obviously, we pinned it to her eye and we put the center of that towards the center of her face. So it's going to be a little bit different. If you pinned like the movement of her phone and put it up here, that's obviously not going to track very well. So you want to make sure that your tracking point is as close as possible to your pinning point. Now, how to make the line follow this tracking point? We're going to do that with something called a beam. We're going to go uh, create a new solid. So layer new solid. We're going to call this solid beam. It doesn't matter what the color of it is. OK, we're then going to go to our effects and presets panel, wait for it to load, and we're going to type in the word beam. That's going to generate a beam when we drag and drop that on top of our solid. And you can see we've got a little pink line and two circles. First step is to make sure the length of your line is 100 percent. And that's going to mean that it's going to extend from point to point. And you'll notice that you can move the points of these lines between the areas that you'd like. I want this top part to say still, and I want this bottom part to um, pick whip to this lady's eye here. OK, so what we're going to do is let's just give something. Uh, let's just say this lady's name is Jane. Oops. We're just going to position that here. That's going to stay in the same place all the time. Let's make our line look a little bit nicer. So we're going to go to our beam layer, effects control, and we're just going to make it white like so, and turn the softness down so it's a hard line. Now, here comes the fun bit. We need our tracking point, OK? And we need our beam layer's end point. So we're going to hit P on the tracking point layer. Then we're going to go to our beam, and we're going to twirl it down until we get to the beams ending point. Now you can see if it's the right one by just moving one of these and you're like, yep, yeah, that's the area that I want to track. So you want to alt click on the ending point. Then you want to take the pick whip of that specific ending point down to the position of the tracking point. Then when you click off of that, it's going to track the end of this beam to the position of the tracking point here. OK, now there's two ways you could make this to attach the ed edge of this circle. If that's what you want to do, you could select all of your tracking point keyframes and move the entire tracking point over a little bit um, to be, say, like up here, then move your circle back so that it joins the edge. And then that's just obviously going to adjust the entire thing. But now our tracking point obviously isn't pinned to her eye, which you might need for later stuff. Um, so the other alternative is to just adjust the length of the beam until it hits the edge of your um, section here. And then you can just move the name. And then there you go. You see you've now got a tracking point that follows this lady's head. The other end of the point um, stays still. And you can see that's all there is to it. Obviously, this is quite a basic thing. You might have more complicated stuff going on, but the principles will be the same. So I hope you enjoyed this little quick tutorial uh, and hopefully you found it useful. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, all that crap that I don't like talking about. And I'll see you next time on another episode of Tip Top. Subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.